Hey guys, this is Mike at PTY Streams, and today we're going to talk about a great APK. It's called Terrarium TV. This APK is for all those that couldn't get Cody down, all those that were tired of their add-ons going up and down and having to search here and there and the buffering and whatnot. This is just so much um, user-friendly. All right, so let's get started. In this video, I will show you how to download it, how to install it, program it, and everything. But before we get started, when you use these APKs, these apps, these add-ons, it's good to use a VPN. You always want to protect your network. All right, I've been using Pure VPN for about six months now, and it's awesome. All right, so I will leave a link down below so you can access it, take a look. If you like it go ahead and get it all right remember protect your network all right guys so let's get started in this case I've already downloaded it I will leave a link down below where I downloaded it from or you could always go to terrariumtv.com and download their version or you can go to Google and search for their modded version which is what we have here the modded version is a lot nicer it's a lot cleaner it doesn't have the ads and it just runs a lot smoother on your Android boxes all right, so here we go. So since I already downloaded it, I'm going to go to my file browser and we're going to go ahead and look for it. Should be in my download folder. And here it is. All right, so here we go. We're going to install it. This shouldn't take more than about 30 seconds or so, maybe a minute. Okay, right now we're running uh, Android 7.1 on uh, T95Z Plus. It's an amazing little box. Um, I will leave a link down below where you can get one of these as well. All right, so here it is. Before we get started, um, we want to download the MX Player. It's just a media player. Um, to me, it runs a lot better than their EXO player, which is already incorporated. Now the EXO player is probably a lot easier to use if you have a fire stick and it's a little complicated to download certain things or you just don't have the space in your box or your device, then just go for the EXO player. In this case, I'm gonna show you how to download the MX player. And for some reason, the screen recorder doesn't record the videos so from the MX player. So I will run the beta player. I will show you how to put the beta player as well. All right, so here we go. Once that's installed, we're going to go to the Google Play Store. This is the first time we run it. Since we're running um, the screen recorder, it might be a little laggy or the apps might freeze here and there. So just bear along with me. There we go, get started. And we're gonna search for the MX player. Okay, MX player. There we go. In this case, I've already have them installed. Um, they came pre-installed with the box. And you have to um, install the MX player and you have to install the MX player codec, the ARM version seven. All right, here we go. Once you've downloaded and installed them, then you could go into Terrarium. Okay, the first time you run it, it's going to ask you a bunch of little questions. Just allow it all. It won't ask again. Just the first time you go in. There we go. And here you get to choose the players. We have the MX player installed by me. It just runs better than the EXO player. Some people prefer the EXO player. Like I said, if you have a fire stick or something that just doesn't have the space, then it's just easier just to go ahead and go with the EXO player. In this case, the screen recorder doesn't record off the MX player. So, so you could see how it works. I'm going to go ahead and use the EXO player. All right, we're going to OK this, accept this. And here we go. When it opens up, it opens up in trending. But before we do anything, we're going to go into settings. And we're going to configure it real quick. It's very simple. All right, choose the language you want. 
device, um, the, video play, the video player you want. Uh, the play action. I'm going to choose play. You could play with subtitles if you need subtitles, or you could even download the movie, download with subtitles if you like. All right, I'm going to go ahead and select play. And we're going to scroll all the way down. If you have a Track TV account, here's where you log it in. This will keep track of all your favorites and all the progress you've gone along on your TV show. All right, so if you have one, an account, just go ahead and log in there. If you don't, just go ahead and move along. Oops, sorry guys, I accidentally got out. All right. This is where we want to go. One second. Here. Android TV configurations. We're going to go ahead and select all three of them. And the media poster size, I like it large. All right, here we go. Once that's set, go ahead and exit. We got to exit completely so all the settings go in place. All right, so there we go. Just looks a lot smoother with a bigger poster size. All right, to show you how it works, we're gonna go ahead and select Stranger Things. Select the season you wanna watch. If you wanna watch a trailer of the movie or the TV show before you watch it, you could go ahead and select Play Trailer. And I'll show you that before we select the movie. So, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and select season, season two. All right, these messages, they'll come out just the first time you use it. After that, they won't show again. Press OK. Select the episode you want to watch. You could either hold in the OK button, or once you select the one you want to watch, you go over to the little play icon that's right there. And I accidentally exited it out. Okay, there you go, you select play, press OK, that won't happen again, it's just the first time you use it, and right now what it's doing is just searching for all the different, um, <clears throat> sorry, streams available for this. The longer you leave it, the more HD it has available. I'm going to go ahead and select this 1080p, go ahead and lower the volume to avoid any copyright issues. And as you can see, it started. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and back out of here. If this was one of your favorite shows and you don't want to search for it again, you could always just select a little star. Oops, sorry. Select this little star right here and it'll add it to your favorites. To go to your favorites, you could just go to your main page here and the scroll down bar, select that. And the first option is favorites. It'll be there. Or you can come to the little three lines here, go to favorites, and here you could access your TV shows and movies. All right, guys, so now I'm going to show you movies. All right, so now we go to movies. It'll open up the most popular. And we'll go ahead and select it. Since it's the first time you use it, just press OK. OK again. And this won't come out again. I think the battery on my remote might be running out, guys. All right, here we go. So again, it's searching for all the different streams. The longer you leave it, the more HD streams it has available. In this case, I'm just gonna select the first one. Since we have that screen recorder going in the background, that's why it seems a little laggy and cause it to stop and have to wait and start again. So just bear along with me and we'll go ahead and select it again. We're going to select a smaller file that way it doesn't use that much memory. Normally it doesn't even matter, but I bet you with this screen recorder we have, we're using up a lot of memory. All right, here we go. All right, if you wanted to watch the trailer before you actually watch the movie to see 
if it's something you want to watch, just select play trailer. The first time you, you select that, it's going to ask you if you want to use YouTube or a different media player. Just go ahead and select YouTube always. It just makes it a lot easier. All right, you get the idea. Here's the trailer playing. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of here. And same thing here. If you want to save this to your favorites, just select the little star. And when you go to your favorites, it'll be right there. All right, guys, remember in the description down below, I will leave links where you can get the VPN, where to download um, Terrarium TV. Remember, you could always go to terrariumtv.com and where you could actually get this amazing little box. All right, guys, if you like the video, just like, share, subscribe. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to get to you. All right, guys, take care.